Okay, guys, made it to the weekend. I, I survived just barely, though. Today, definitely had to finish off the whole crappy week with a very crappy day. So we're going to forget about it and we're going to move past it and really hope that next week is better. So let's just, you know, start our weekend off with some crafting. Now, my desk is a little messy, filled with bits and bobs and doodads, um, but I was greatly inspired by something that, uh, you know, I had in my stash. So I thought we're going to try some, some new things today. So this is the inspiration. You guys recognize this? This was in my March grabby box. If you've seen this already the past couple days. But when I was looking at these, I was like, I would really like to try my hand at making my own like lace trims and ribbons. And so just to, you know, to, to make my own. So if, like, if I need something specific colors or whatnot, or if I need something and I don't have already made lace trim I because like, I can make my own so we're gonna I'm gonna show you a few few different variations that I've been playing around with trying out and just kind of came up with my own ideas I'd love to hear your ideas on this too so let's just dive into the crafting so I'm gonna start with a very very easy one very simple basic easy easy one we're gonna do a braid we're just gonna do a simple braid and so I already had in my stash this kind of like twine jute kind of yarn it's not really exactly the twine it's kind of soft but it is like the perfect kind of texture the perfect color to make a really cool like little like braid just a very simple simple little jute braid so i'm gonna start by i have my three ends here i'm gonna make a little knot to hold it together and when i maybe when i glue this onto something i can always cut that little knot off this is just to hold it together i'm gonna use a piece of tape to just kind of you know tape this to my desk to hold it in place while we braid it. Now, everybody knows how a braid works, hopefully. You've got three strands, which I have now got to untangle. Give me a second, guys. I got them all tangled up. Here we go. So, got three strands. I made sure to cut them all the same length. They're kind of on the long side, but I wanted to make a long, a long braid so, so that I had a, a bunch to play with. We're going to separate your strands here while I just you know mess around here should have done this earlier I was I was tired did not prepare too much I just got all my supplies basically I just grabbed all my supplies and just dumped it on the desk did I prepare too much more yeah no who wants to prepare we, we need to fly by the seat of our pants here guys it's like we don't prepare nothing see look, look at this mess I gotta try and untangle this yet before we can even start playing and having fun Oh, why not? Let's just, you know. I don't even understand what you're getting tangled on. It's like there's not much there for you to twist and tangle on. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go. Okay, now we can finally get started. Sorry, guys, I should have prepared that a little bit better. Let me get this moved up a little bit more. Okay, now let us begin. We got our three strands all separate here. And to make a braid, it's just a matter of going over the middle. So you bring the one side over the middle string, and then you bring the other side over the new middle string. And then you go back to the other side and bring it over the middle string. And you do this, you repeat this constantly, and this is making a braid. So you're just going, taking the one side, going over to the middle. And you go back to the other side and go over to the middle. And my tape is not holding that down. Stay put. All right, and then it's just a matter of going back and forth from one side to the next. Oh, my tape's not holding. You know what, why not? Why not? Let's just, let's just, you know, have the video be messy too. Why wouldn't it be, be a good video? I don't know how else to keep this to stick. Because it's just going to pull right out. So we're just going to hold on to it. Forget the tape. You do, you do, you guys. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hold on to it. Because that's the only way that seems to work. And so I'm just, and it's just, you know, over to the middle, over to the middle. And you're just making this long, this long, like a uh, jute string braid. And you can use that for like 
embellishments and ribbon trim and whatever. You can sew it on things. You can glue it onto cards, into your journals. You can make jewelry out of it. You can do, you can do absolutely whatever. And so that's kind of why I wanted to kind of just try my hand at making my own, you know, ribbons and lace trims and all that because then I can, you know, make them my own and and in a way it's cheaper too. I mean, you don't need a lot of supplies for it and you can use stuff that you already have in your house. And so, and I just would keep on, keep on going until I have a nice, nice long one. Real long one. See, just like that. Very easy, very easy. And it looks really cool too. I actually like how it looks. And if I wanted to make it thicker, I would just double up on the string. I would just use maybe two string to make it a little bit thicker. So yeah, so there's one. Very easy, very basic. There's the first one. I'm just gonna dump this knot mess in the corner. Okay, another one, I already had this one pre-made. Is So I just cut out very thin uh, strips of fabric. This is just plain old like cotton fabric. I used a, picked a pretty blue color, and I think this is only a half inch wide uh, strip, and then I took it to my sewing machine. So if you guys are sewers and you have a sewing machine, you can make this kind of lace trim real quick and easy. Just cut yourself some little strips of fabric, and then you can just, you know, go on down. I just did a plain old straight stitch all the way down, but I kind of weaved it in and out and back and forth. I did this twice so that I could add two rows of very funky weaving all the way through and when I added another string I just laid it right on top and just sewed right through it and so I made myself this nice long pretty ribbon I used a blue fabric and then I had the red thread already on my sewing machine so I just used that because it looked really pretty together and my bobbin was a different color so if I wanted to use the red side I could or if I wanted to flip it over and use the other side so I got two two sides that I could use two different sides and so I made myself a nice nice long a nice long ribbon here this one actually was very quick, very, very easy. So if you have a sewing machine, you guys can do this. This is so easy and you don't need a lot, a lot of, it like, this is what you can use your scraps out of. If you have just a little bit of like scrap material left, you can, you can make your own little ribbon lace trims like this. You can maybe, if you have a sewing machine that has those really cool, uh, sewing pet stitches, like the different, um, like zigzag patterns, that would look so cool too. My sewing machine actually can't do that other than just you know the like the straight stitch and can do a basic zigzag so it's not really not really impressive but i still think this looks good if, i mean and imagine having like a variegated thread that would look really cool as well like really really cool all right so there's another one i did another really quick easy doesn't need a lot of material anybody can do this if you have a sewing machine you know how to sew so there's that okay this next thing I'm going to work on is I need something to put all of my lace trims on. So as you can see how this thing has got a nice little little cardboard thing. It's all wrapped around it. Orion. Yes, what'd you do? Oh my gosh. This mama just wants to lie down. <laughs> oh. Can I please finish my video properly? Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, back to it. So I'm going to make my own little, like, cardboard kind of holder thing to wrap my ribbon on like this. So I dug into my recycle bin, and I found, um, I, I like toaster scrambles, some uh, cardboard here from my box. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to cut this right here down the middle here. Get that middle seam out of there. All right, and so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take my two pieces here and I'm going to uh, glue these colored sides back to back like this to make it a little bit stiffer and a little bit uh, thicker. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my tacky glue for that. Let's see if this is going to work or if I'm gonna make a big mess. We are probably going to make a big mess. Why not? So I'm gonna start by doing a nice thick, Around the edge here. Get the cat hair out of there. Move everything away so it doesn't get covered in glue. That's what happens when you got a tiny desk. All right, 
get it good and good and covered. Okay. Always put the cap back on your glue. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and place her down. Give her a good press all the way around. All right, Ooh, oh, and it moved, it moved a bit. Okay, get nice and, all right, I'm going to let this dry like overnight. So um, we're not gonna be using it just yet, but I made my own little cardboard thing. And then when it's dry, I'm going to actually uh, put a border of washi tape around it. I've got this really pretty dark green. So I'm gonna put washi tape around the border just to hide the edges and make it look a little bit neater and cleaner. And then when it's actually done and dried and ready to be used, then I would just use it and you know, it's just a matter of wrapping your ribbon around like so, just like that. And you can get a bunch of them onto one Piece and keep them all nice and organized and nice and neat and pretty. You can organize by like your fabric ones or your like your string ones. All right, so that is all said and done. We're gonna set that aside because we can't use that just yet. Okay, all right, so for my crocheters out there, let's crochet a ribbon. Let's just start with a crochet ribbon. I got some really cool, it's like this bright yellow funky string here and so I thought I would make like a very funky kind of funny like chain ribbon I'm not sure I'm just playing at this moment it's it's all you know practice trial and error I'm just just playing with stuff I got a lot of materials I got a lot of fibers of all different kinds textures and colors and so I'm just gonna start by making a basic chain I'm just gonna chain so I guess I'm using, what is this, size one crochet hook, but you can use whatever kind of yarn or string that you have. If you are a crocheter, you can do whatever. And I'm just, I'm just crocheting a little chain here. Now, even this by itself can be considered a little ribbon or a trim, just a simple little chain like this, but I'm going to make it a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I'm thinking chain about that long, and then I'm going to go back. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to maybe slip stitch through there. Okay. So I made, I made a, I made a little loop. I just did a slip stitch and made a loop. So I'm just doing two stitches. All right, let's go ahead and let's make some more chains. Let's just chain. I'm not counting. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just, I'm just making chains. Just making a long chain. Very simple, very basic. So this is for you crocheters out there, this is a fun way to make your own little lace trims for your other crafting needs. You can sew them onto things or glue them onto stuff. I'm making a long one here. And I'm going to come back down and not all the way back to the loop. I'm going to come back to about a bit here. Again, not doing any counting. I'm just going to do a slip stitch like that. And so I made another, made another little loop. And then I might just keep on Keep on going, keep on going like this. And this could be my this could be my little cute little lace trim with these all these little these fun little loops on here. That actually be really cute. And I'm I'm just just practicing, just trial and error. We're just we're just having fun with it. We're just having fun. I mean, if you wanted to be very precise and detailed, you could totally count. You could totally count and make all your loops the same and all the same distance away. But I kind of want mine to be kind of funky crazy, so I'm not making like specific sizes. Here, I'm just making them all, all wonky. So basically, I'm gonna come out looking kind of like that. I got a little, a little loopy, loopy chain lace trim. <laughs> this actually looks so, so cute. I'm actually not, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm pretty impressed, you know, with no plan, just, just doing. No plan, just doing. And you can make it as long as you want. You can make a very long piece so we can cut off pieces and just, attach them to whatever, or you can make it as long as like for a specific project, like it needs to be this long, so you can make it this long. You can do whatever. This, this actually is, makes me very happy. I love, I love crocheting too. It's a very fun, quiet, relaxing, peaceful project to do when like you're sitting watching TV or something. So let me go ahead and make another loop. Let's do it right about here. 
I'm just making a slip stitch to make that loop. And so there we go. I'm just making a funky little loopy chain. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, and I love the yellow color. This is turning out so adorable. All right, let's move on because I got a couple more things. A couple more? Or just one more. I think I just got one more. I think I got one more to show you guys. Hope that's okay. All right, so I've got some more strips of fabric here that I cut out. These are cut at three and a quarter inch wide. I got a couple of them here so I can attach them to make them as long as I want. It's this really pretty like jade kind of sage green. Really pretty. I have some brown embroidery floss that I've threaded onto a needle. I'm using just one single strand. If you guys know, embroidery floss comes with six strands and I just pulled out one single strand, one tiny little strand. So we're working with one strand of embroidery floss. So this is for those of you who are, you know, who like to embroider or hand sew. If you are into the hand sewing, this one is for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start at the bottom here and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to make, I'm going to make along a back stitch. So back stitch is basically as you go up through a spot, you come down and then you move ahead a little bit here, you come up and then you have to go back down. So this is called going as back stitch. So you're making, I'm just making a long squiggly back stitch and then when I've got it, you know, as long as I want to, I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some flowers onto this. So this is for you and like people who like to embroider or cross stitch or whatnot. You like the hand sewing part. Sure, it is very slow and tedious, but in the end, you're going to come out with this really pretty handmade, uh, like little lace trim for your crafty needs. And this is just a great way to use up scraps to make your own personalized trims and laces. You can do it however you want. There are so many different variations, different ways to do it. Lots of different materials. And I think that's why I, I'm really into this because it's like I can use so many different things to make so many different kinds of lace trims. It's like I gotta go crazy here. I'm trying to stick with just a small few right now, but it's like I could go crazy. You guys could go crazy. You can do whatever. Absolutely whatever. And see, I'm just making a squiggly little brown line. This is going to be kind of like my vine. Like my vine. And then I'm going to go back and probably add some uh, leaves. Like maybe some green, dark green leaves on here. And then I might do like just a simple like little French knot for some flowers. Isn't that, doesn't that sound like an awesome idea? I don't know if I'll have time to get to that, but... If I use this trim, I will definitely have to show you. All right, I'm going to end that. I'm going to end this string. And so, yeah, just like that. And then when I get to like the, uh, the end here, I would just, you know, I would just lay it on top and I would just, you know, keep on stitching, stitch right through it. Stitch right through it. It's totally fine. But yeah, all right. Well, there you have it, guys. <clears throat> Just a few small basic ideas on how to make your own like lace trim and ribbon. You know, your some more crafty embellishments. Well, that's, that's what we're calling them. They're they're crafty. They're crafty embellishments because you're, you're gonna use these in your your crafting. So you're gonna use these for other other crafty needs to decorate things and to you know just have fun with it or you know you can make your own kind of ribbons to sell to people if you uh, do craft shows that would be awesome too but yeah anyways well I know this video is not very long but uh you know that's okay maybe maybe we'll make maybe we'll try and make tomorrow a bit longer of a video what should we do tomorrow Ooh, I don't know I don't know maybe we should just bust out some glue books and just glue away <laughs> okay guys but that's that's enough i gotta i gotta i gotta call this video an end i gotta end this this week i'm i'm tired and uh my body is sore but 
I'm glad that you stopped by. I'm glad you watched this video. I hope it was inspiring for you. It gave you some brand new ideas to try making your own lace trims and whatnot. If you have any cool ideas about how to make some awesome trims or what material to use, leave them in the comments down below. We need to share with everybody. I love to read your comments. They just make me so happy. So make sure you like, like, and subscribe and stick around because we're going to have more to come always. I try to post every single day when I can. So yeah, this I was real excited about this. I was really, really excited. I may not have been fully prepared, but I was real excited about this idea. I just came up with it like last night. So I was busy scrambling, trying to find all the materials and get the stuff together. So yeah, so I probably just sit back and finish working on these off camera. And maybe I'll show you, if I get them all done, I can have them wrapped on my little, uh, my little board here. I'll show them to you. I'll definitely have to do that. So, all right, well, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Have a wonderful Friday evening. It is a very calm and peaceful rain outside. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing it right now. It's like I'm ready to just hunker down and fall asleep, to be honest. <laughs> I might just fall asleep. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Bye.